Hey, glad you could make it, because today we are playing more regrowth. And Phoenix is on the server with me. Hi, Phoenix. Hi, sir. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing well. Good. What are you up to? I see you down below. Yes, I am working on polishing off the um, rail system for... Wow. We haven't even actually well, introduced them. I can see the sign. Yeah, we haven't. Oh, yeah. I, I walked past the sign. It says To Bloodfall Mountain. Yes. And that's where we should be playing with blood. Magic. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and start Blood Magic today. Uh, this is a project. This particular, you know, um, project that Phoenix is working on. It's been an ongoing project since we moved over here because as soon as we got here, we looked over there and went, ooh, we like that mountain. That's a nice mountain. Yeah. So that's going to look a little bit different. But for today, we're going to at least get started and make the altar and all that kind of neat stuff. Um, but first of all, I wanted to show you there's a bunch of dirt holes. Well, um, used to be holes that are now dirt. All around, I believe Thera was going around and planting silverwoods. Um, probably for some nodes and possibly for the uh, magical forest effect. Because there's a few over here also. Which is cool. I like it. Makes the, the grass all kind of green and stuff. Uh, but when I came on, there was a bunch of holes from the Silverwoods themselves, so I went ahead and filled them in. I also broke this one brick right here so the grass could cross over to the section of dirt that we had over here. And I put it back afterwards. Um, and Thera has once again been busy with tech. Because mm -hmm. if we go into our quest book and look at number 14, how the world enhances, we got more mechanism done. So a configurator was made. Um, energized smelter, the crusher, and the enrichment chamber were all made. And the electrolytic separator, the basic gas tank, and pressurized tube were all made. Forgive, forgive that I had to mute myself as I had an issue for a second there. Wasn't another sneeze, was it? No, it wasn't a sneeze. And go, go, go watch Phoenix's um, channel and see what we're talk talking about when we say sneeze. <laughs> no, it's a different issue altogether today. And I wish it would stop. Okay. Um, so, yeah, turned in all the quests. Got that done. Let's get the quest book out of the way. Um, I've been doing pretty good about going in here to give them a little bit less work and going over here and double right clicking to get rid of the stuff in my inventory. But none of that went in. However, my food did. So I have to keep coming back over here and replenishing my food, which is fine. It means that I always have a stack of food on me, which is good. Uh, let's go ahead and I even cleaned a little bit out of here not everything but a little bit <laughs> all right so today we are going to work on a blood altar so we are going to need four altars from witchery we're going to need a runic altar from Batania. we're going to need an attune stone wait this is a charged attune stone how do we charge the attune stones hmm. that one I don't know oh it's been so long since I've Fully delved into witchery. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm gonna get the rest of it ready though. Let's see, uh, runic altar. That is just some living rock around a man of diamond or pearl. One, two, three, four, five, one of these. Here, here, here. All right, and then we're going to need some Thaumium ingots, but I believe we have some of those already. Yeah, there are, is some Thaumium. 
All right. Um, the altars, we're going to have to do two recipes, which are some things that we should have over there. Let me make sure that I bring some brick just in case we don't have any over there. Uh, or stone. Stone works. Doo -doo -doo. Off we go into the witch witch wonders. All right, so let's go ahead and turn, I don't know, 16 of this into stones, just so I have them. And I'll forget about them later and make more, so that's okay. Um, all right. I need some brown wood, little water bottles. I didn't bring any water bottles with me. That was smart. That's okay. XL of the horned one, gonna need two of those. Crap, stop it. And two Breath of the Goddess. Breath of the Goddess, do we have any of those? Do, do, do. Yes, we do. Okay, one, two. I need to go get some round wood and some bottles for water. Do, 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 do. One, two. <clears throat> Where's the brown wood? Do we have brown wood? Brown wood. Brown wood. There it is. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should be all we need for that. And then bottles. Do we already have like a drawer of bottles? Probably not. So I'll just get some glass. Where is glass? Glass is right there. Three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's... There we go. Now I have a bunch of bottles. Nice. And I know I'm going to need, but two of them, two water bottles at the moment those don't stack so i'm only going to get those two so i can put the bottles away over in witchery so we can grab water bottles whenever we need them mm -hmm. there we go all right and finally uh the stone so yeah i think i got everything i need to make Two of those recipes. Wink. And there we go. Bunch of altars. I ended up not needing as much round wood as I thought. Uh, for some reason, I thought I needed four wood per, but I only need two. All right, so we got the runic altar, we got the regular altars, need the thomium ingots, and then the uh, charged attune stone. Is that going to require one of those witchery circles? I think it does. May do. We have not gotten into the circles yet. That'd be fun. Alright, so we got all of these pieces. Alright, so... Oh. All right, so charged tombstone. Uh, that means we need to look at our books. Where are all the books? They're there. We should have a, let's see. I don't think we have the book that I'm looking for. Which book are you after? I am looking, I'm trying to look up the name of it now. Um, where's it at? Not, not symbology, not herbology, circle magic. If we have that book, it's not in the bookshelf over here. Do we have it in the witchery area? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't know if we even made it yet. No, we've not made that one. Okay. 
So then I'm going to go ahead and make the circle magic book. It requires a whiff of magic, a belladonna, a feather, and a black die, and some sort of plank. No, why did I say plank? I need book. That is so weird. I heard you laugh at me. This is rude. <laughs> Um, if you're going to be stupid, I'm going to laugh at you. Uh, thank you. You're so nice. Don't pretend that you wouldn't dare laugh <laughs> very hard at what I do stupidly. Uh, no, I would never do such things. Oh, you've done it already. Uh, I've done nothing of the sort. Now, do we have books? Leave a comment if you think that Saf has <laughs> laughed quite loudly and quite viciously at my own stupidity. Never done such a thing. That is beneath me. <clears throat> I'm laughing at my own stuff now. Hey, I found a book. I was going to say, your, your evidence is slowly being undermined by yourself. Whiff of magic and belladonna. As I ignore Phoenix running back over here. Oh, Donna. Whiff of magic. I know we should have whiff of magic. And do we have any Belladonna in here? No, we don't. Which means I gotta go all the way back to the other house. We really gotta do something about our inventory. Yeah, at some point we're gonna wanna mess with. Um... A -E. A E. Yeah, that thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Where is the Belladonna? Um, it'll be over in the corner. Mm, yes, it is. Okay. All right. So this book should be able to make it now. Yay! Made the Circle Magic book. Cool. I can now look up because I believe this is where. We need to do the. Arr, trying to remember which one it is. We need to do some circles. Yes, yeah, so we're going to need to do some circles. I'm trying to figure out how to. Well, in order to make circles, we need chalk. Yeah. You know, but I'm still trying to figure out how to actually do the um, charging of the stone. You know what? I'm going to do something that I don't have to do. Witchery wiki. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while since we've done uh, that. Oh, don't tell me that he got rid of it. I oh, know. That might be it. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So, attuned. I'm just going to do a search for attuned. Charge the tombstone. And a tombstone that has been charged, blah, blah, blah. Rights that can use. Okay, to charge in a tombstone, one must use the right of charging, which can be found in the Circle Magic book. Okay, but where in the Circle Magic book? I was looking in the in a Circle Magic book. Circle Magic book. Circle. Right of charging. There we go. Okay. So we're, gonna, we're, we're definitely going to need the white chalk and the gold chalk, and then we're going to need. And the tombstone, some glowstone dust, some redstone, some wood ash, and some quicklime. We should have access to all that. And an altar power of 2,000, so we should be good. Mm -hmm. So I need to make two sets of... Uh, well, that's fine. Chalk, the recipe does make two. So that's good. Okay. So which chalk are you working on? Ritual chalk. Now The, the white ritual... one? Yep. The ritual chalk requires eight pieces of wood ash, two pieces of gypsum, and a tear of the goddess. Now, in order to make gypsum, we need foul fumes and quicklime. So, and do, we, do we have any of that? Um, I'm literally smelting some oak wood logs in the witch's oven to give me the charcoal. 
and the foul fumes. Oh, we have no foul fumes. Okay. So foul fumes in the distillery with a piece of quick lime, and you get quick lime by literally putting a piece of wood ash in the crafting res um, uh, interface, and it will turn it into quick lime. All right. Um. And the white chalk, you may need to make more than one recipe. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to take one of the white, one of the ritual chalks to make the gold chalk. Yes, we get two ritual chalk for each craft. Right. All right. So we're also going to need a gold nugget, some mandrake root, and then one of those ritual chalks in the cauldron. Yes, indeed. And we should have access to a 2,000 or higher right here. Well, at least at least we know it should be high enough to handle the cauldron recipe. Oh, yeah. we got plenty to handle. I think we've even got enough to handle the right of charging. Uh, yeah, we only need 2,000 to handle the right of charging. So there we go. We have a crafting recipe. Would you like to pull it out, Saffron? Um, sure. Yeah, not this Where, one, that one. Oh, it's in the other one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ritual chalk. Yay. Alright. I'm going to give you that one so you can have fun making rituals. Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and work on making the gold one for the center mark. But I had to go outside and get some water. We need a better source of water for this thing. Yeah. Actually, I wonder, do bottles work on this? Because now I'm curious. Funnily enough, can I have the book of circles so I can uh, start marking out? Yep. Here you go. Thank you. Charging is right after the uh, binding ones that are at the front. Yep. So but you just need the 7 and uh, 11. Yeah, 7 by 7 and 11 by 11. Mm -hmm. And what am I doing? Oh, yeah. I'm adding water to the culture. Yes, it does work, but it does not look like it gives me back the bottle. So that's not nice. Right. That's so, relatively rude. I think. Yep. Uh, should have my X. How about we put it right? Now, I didn't completely chop that tree down because I kind of actually like having the canopy overhead. So I'm going to leave that log behind. Now, stepping forward from the middle altar, I'm going to go one there. And for an 11 by 11 to work, it needs 5, and then it goes into successions of 2. So, 2 there, and 2 there. Then on the angle, 1 there, 1 there, strip of 5. How many is that? Ooh. Cool. Didn't know that did that. One there. And okay, we need to bring this tree down as well. That's annoying. Yeah, I'm literally just going to cut those two out. On my screen, what they should have seen is me throwing. Mandrake, a uh, gold ingot, and one of those chalks, and I now have the golden chalk. 
and slowness for some reason because it decided to give me bad things. <laughs> Why not? Bad things. Alright, so just there we go. Right. On the angle there and there. And then oh, one, two, three, four. And that lines up perfectly to give me the 11 by 11. Yay! Let's see. So you did the 11 by 11 already? Yep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, by the look of the book, you can just literally step in, leave a gap, and start the 7 by 7. Which is again similar to the fire, uh, the eleven by eleven, going three, one on the diagonal, and then three. All right. So while you work on that, I am going to go make another a tombstone. Okie dokie. Because we'll need that. So dragon stone. Right. We can continue with your teaching of the thingies, Professor Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much the same process, just constantly going around, counting out, and if you do it right, it all leads quite nicely back to the center. Well, back to where you started rather than the center. Now, I have an infantry full of bits and bobs. I need to get rid of Bits and bobs. Yes. Lots of flowers. Alright, so I got those. We need whiffs of magic. Off to get the whiffs. That sounds like I'm talking about some weird disease. Mm <laughs> hmm. I'm going to go get the whiffs. Sounds rather horrible. Yeah, I know. I don't want to say that again now. <laughs> All right, now I have a tombstones. What Tell are the what... other things that we need to put in the ritual? Uh, you have the book. Yes. Wood ash, quicks, uh, quick lime, uh, redstone, glowstone dust, and the attuned. All right, well, I have an extra attune stone. I went ahead and made two. And I also brought some dragon, two more dragon stones over here to make it easier to make the attune stones. Mm -hmm. And I was, where are you off to get? I, well, I need uh, some wood ash. Now, conveniently, I was cooking up some earlier. So I can take a piece of wood ash. And turn a couple into quick line. Well, I'm coming to get redstone and glowstone. Marvelous. You said those were needed, right? Yeah. Yes. So hmm. I am going to. Oh, itchy, itchy. I'm coming. Of course, we don't really have to lock that. It's not like anything's going to get in. No, that's true. Hi, Thera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this one is at 4232. We still need to make yeah. another thingies. Yeah, just back to me. a couple of items. Right, so quick climb and some wood ash are right behind you. Okay. So let's see. One redstone, one glowstone, one wood ash, one quick lime, and one a tombstone. That should be it, right? Yeah, and then right click the golden. That part I remembered. Yep. And, and we have a charged stone. So if I go over here to a crafting table, since I have all the other parts. Mm hmm.
And I look up uh, blood magic again. <laughs> there we go. And now you can pull it out if you want to. Ah, thank you. And da da, blood magic. Wow. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, before this video started recording, we said, oh, we'll just make a blood magic altar real quick. We're at the 25-minute mark already. Yeah, I was thinking that myself. I was like, well, that's cool. We got to show off um, <laughs> messing around with other bits of witchery. And... Yep. Witchery's fun. I like witchery. Yes. I could do an entire series just on witchery if I felt like it. Yeah, tell me about it. Especially if we get I, some willing, um, victim, I mean, participants. <laughs> I'd love to do uh, bees, too, as long as I had gender Uh Yeah, bees on its own is just potluck and tedium. All right, so now we need to make a sacrificial knife to finish off that quest. So why don't we do that? Mm -hmm. uh, how do we make a sacrificial knife? We put an art fauna from witchery into mana infusion nice. um and that's easy enough we have all the parts of her here so a stick a couple of nuggets and i believe an ingot too and i need an emerald which we have right here and a stick, which we have right there. Then I can just grab one of the, any of these crafting tables, and I have made an Arthana. Yay! And here you go, have an Arthana. You can turn it into a sacrificial knife. Marvelous. Right. Which he's going to do right over there. Nice and quick, in and out, and now we have a sacrificial knife. Yes, now I have a sacrificial knife, which means that quest should be completed. And we can claim the Soul Chunk Claimer, whatever that is. We can also collect what? You'll Come Round to It from the way What the World Teaches, which is for making the um, book, which gives us yeah. a circle talisman, which is quite nice because now we can store the circles we make. Yeah, because um, there will be many different circles and different colors in the same locations as others, so it's just nice to be able to store them. And what's cool is when you store them, they actually look like like the rings on them are the yeah. right colors and stuff. So it, you can make like a wall of them and just pick up the one you need and put it in the right place. Of course, there's a couple of them that are used extremely often. I can't remember which ones they are, and those I just normally leave a couple of circles just lying around now luckily um we've also unlocked the way the world changes uh, how the world changes actually and mm. if we go to chalk it up to luck um the coven witches you have spoken to have made the suggestion that you should learn the outer circles we did that and that oh, cool. give, gives us as a reward other world otherware chalk and the infernal chalk and we get uh we we made the attune stone charged yes and we get to get two more charged attune stones per person who turns it in so yay yep very much yay that gives us a lot of yay i'm gonna go over to witchery and drop off the chalk and circle and um a tombstones. It's not oh. hard to make the other two types of chalk, but it it just means that I don't have to go running around and make um, more ritual chalk for now. Right. Little less work at the moment. Um, you know what? I'm going to go grab one of the uh, bookshelves that we have in the main house and bring it over here along with the uh, witchery books. I think it'd be better if we could access them in the witchery area. Yeah. So that should be that. 
And then I think that is going to be it for this particular episode, Mr. Phoenix. I believe it shall be. So, first of all, thanks in advance. <laughs> no. Uh, instead of stealing Saf's outro, I actually now have my own one. It does have some elements from other bits, but definitely leave a comment, leave a like, leave a dislike if you didn't like it. Please subscribe to both of our channels. You can find links to each of our channels on each of our videos, conveniently. We both also now have Patreon pages, so if you feel like contributing to us, you can do so there. So, I've been Phoenix. I've been Sav. And this has been a bird's eye view. <laughs>